Hey everybody, Brandon Railway here. Gonna do an update for y'all. As you can see, there's no train parked there. If you're part of Indian Head Valley Railway on Facebook, you would see that I had a train parked there and had quite a mess if you saw my last video. I'm working on some stuff that I'm gonna do here. Got a coal train on track too. I'm going to make a siding back here for track two so I can park a uh, six car cattle train behind a 260. Siding is going to be big enough for my 17 car coal train. Well, 16 cars, two engines, and a caboose with a Fred, or a couple more coal cars and one with a Fred. Anyhow. Then on the very outside, there's going to be a siding for mainline one. It's probably going to extend all the way back to about where that car is at. Maybe a little bit further, depending on where I can get my switches to fit. That way, the train that I have on track one right now, I can park it out here. And then I will be able to um, park my custom cars train in the bedroom along with my passenger train. And all of these will have different engines on them. That way I don't have to use the same engines and everything for everything. But here is the new mixed freight that I will be running behind my SD60Es. I have 9-1-1, 6920, and 69.63 for motive power. And this is the initial run of this, this consist. So I may have issues with it. I have not tested it at all ever and I'm only at half throttle right now not a very heavy train, or I mean, not a very long train, but it does have some weight to it. As you can see, I do have a fret on the back there. And we will change our angle to over here because lead engine ought to be coming out just about now. I still do need to do a little bit of work between 6920 and 6963 because for some reason as they go into the bedroom the lead two engines come uncoupled from the third engine. So I think what I'm going to have to do is wind up changing the couplers on the front of 6920. Although they're, nope, they did come uncoupled. As you can tell, because train is slowing down just a little bit. But 6963 is pulling this all by itself now. That's the go rail for anybody who doesn't know numbers. Honestly, I don't know the numbers that well. But there you have it. Maiden voyage of this freight train. I do believe it is 38 cars. And like I said, the big boy is sitting there. It'll be on my passenger train. And then I will have... Oh, let's see. Three Brandon Railway engines on the custom cars train. And then there will be a 260 on the K 
cattle train. And I'm going to redirect the camera to the TV because I'm sitting here watching Virtual Rail Fan on YouTube. Because I think there's a train coming. I'm in... Where am I? Northeast Pennsylvania. I think I hear a train coming. It's... But I've got 30 different rail cameras that I've been paying attention to. And I thought I heard something, but evidently not. Was watching uh, the Santa Fe Junction out in Kansas City this morning. But they got pretty slow. And I mean, very, very slow. I think it's because they were doing some work on one of the diamonds. I, th I think it was on BNSF trackage. Because I saw two or three BNSF trains that were uh, stopped and waiting. For some reason, they weren't letting them through. But anyhow, I guess that was a false alarm. But like I said, there's going to be the, the siding. The siding on track one, I think the switch is going to be right in here somewhere. Depending on the size of the train, the switch might actually wind up being about where that piece of um, tape is. Just because I, I need the extra room, which that would be fine. And then I'd be able to park the big, big long train out here. And then uh, track two will definitely have at least one siding. I may go a little psychotic. Put a second siding in to the inside of track two. And park another train. Maybe... Oh, I don't know. Maybe do a siding for... A couple of my Thomas the Tank Engine locomotives or sets. Put Rosie and Thomas on there. Or I'll do maybe the Ohio State set. Or maybe a, a little local mixed freight behind the um, two GP38s there. But anyhow... These three are going to be the three pulling the custom cars train. There's the 260 that's going to be pulling the cattle train. And then obviously, like I said, the big boy is going to be pulling the passenger train. So anyhow, that's the update. Wanted to show you guys that I got stuff running. Got a little bit of work to do, but hey, that's typical for anything anywhere so hope y'all enjoyed the run by or the the multiple run bys and as i get things fixed and working better i will do a bigger video um kind of like the train talk thursday episodes i'll do the camera from the phone and then i'll do the uh cab views and everything else and and hopefully have another really good video for you guys coming up here shortly but for now, this is Brandon Railway 6755 signing off.